हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आवर यूट्यूब लर्निंग चैनल एक्यूरेट ए एस एम ई आई एस ओ वन ऑफ द मोस्ट रिक्वेस्टेड क्यूरीज बाय द क्वालिटी एंड मैन्युफैक्चरिंग टेक्नीशियंस आर व्हाट आर द टॉलरेंसेस ऑन द बेसिक और थेरोटिकली एग्जैक्ट डायमेंशंस सिमिलरली व्हाट टॉलरेंसेस टू बी सिलेक्टेड फॉर रेफरेंस डायमेंशंस Unless these difficulties are resolved, one cannot really understand the geometric tolerances given in the drawing. All these questions are addressed well in this learning video. Please do not forget to subscribe the channel and share. Thank you. So let us begin now. Let us define first. what is dimension and then what is basic dimension dimension is a numerical value or mathematical expression in appropriate units of measure used to define the shape size orientation or location of a part feature or between part features dimension basic it is a theoretically exact dimension theoretically exact dimension is indicated on technical product documentation that is called engineering drawings which is not affected by an individual or general tolerances how to represent basic dimension with a symbol on an engineering drawing the symbolic means of indicating a basic dimension shall be enclosed the dimension value in a rectangle as shown the value 15 20 and 30 shown in the rectangle are called basic dimension many times questions received are what tolerances to apply on the dimensions in the rectangle should one apply open or tabular tolerances are basic dimensions need not to be inspected the answer is no tolerance on the basic dimension are applied but the feature is controlled by a geometric tolerances rather than the dimension tolerances how to identify and interpret basic dimension basic dimension shall be indicated on the orthographic view in one of the following views applying the basic dimension symbol to each basic dimension see the figure illustration a and figure b specifying on the drawing a general note such as intolerance dimensions are basic c figure c a note is when using the method a plus minus tolerance is not allowed via a general tolerance block or note implied basic dimensions of 0 degrees and 90 degree the another challenge faced by production metallurgist is that if the geometric tolerance for example position tolerance indicated on the drawing is out of the nominal value then what error compensation to apply in the machine tool many times people recalculate dimension tolerances from the geometric tolerances normally this process is called reverse engineered process this process is not recommended let us see how this is happen in the given enlarged view it is shown that a feature diameter of 14 mm and a diametrical tolerance zone of position control with 0.5 mm dia let us find a point p 
the maximum allowed location on the circumference of diametrical tolerance zone. The point P is located radially at R distance and in X and Y axis at delta X and delta Y offsets as shown. Here delta X and delta Y is same because polar angle of the point P is 45 degrees. Now let us calculate delta X and delta Y according to the trigonometry Pythagoras theorem. According to the Pythagoras, R square that is radial value R square is equal to delta X square plus delta Y square. We know the diametrical position tolerance value is 0 0.5. So the R value is 0 0.25. Therefore, delta X square plus delta Y square is equal to 0 0.25 square. We know delta X is equal to delta Y. Therefore, 2 into delta X square is equal to 0 0.25 square. The value comes 0 0.25. Zero six two five. Now delta x square is equal to zero point zero six two nine divided by two. So value comes delta x square is equal to zero point three one four five. And finally delta x is equal to zero point one seven seven. As we know, delta X is delta Y. So, delta Y is also 0 0.177. So, the offset in X axis and offset in Y axis recalculated from the diametrical tolerance zone is 0 0.177 in both the axes. Let us discuss now why not to recalculate the dimensional tolerances from geometrical one. For this, please view another picture where point P is not at 45 degrees to axis but at 0 degrees or 180 degrees. In the case given, delta Y becomes 0 and only delta X is having value. The point P is at 0 0.25 mm, that is, it is delta X and it is half of the diametrical tolerance value. Recall that previous case where recalculated tolerance were 0 0.177 mm in X and Y both direction. Reference to this, by this tolerance, Specification says that the part is rejected because 0.25 is the value greater than 0.177. It means when the recalculated tolerance is 0.177 are referenced for the actual value 0.25 which it is in this case and therefore in reality calculation says that point P is within diametric tolerance zone and part is accepted. Therefore it is not recommended to make a reverse engineering calculation to find out the linear dimensional tolerances in X and Y. Only it is to be used geometric tolerances. So, finally what is the conclusion and what is the solution? It is not recommended to recalculate 
the dimensional plus minus tolerances from diametrical tolerances of geometry. It means reverse engineer tolerances from the given geometrical tolerances are not recommended. Part acceptance or rejection should be based on the geometric tolerance only. Now for error compensation, use the deviations which is calculated from basic dimensions to the measured actual dimensions. That value is to be treated as an error for the compensation or correction applied to the machine tool. Similarly, reference dimensions. It is dimensional information, usually without a tolerance. That is used for a reference purpose only. A reference dimension is a repeat of a dimension or is derived from other values shown on the drawing or on related drawings. It is considered auxiliary information and does not govern production or inspection operations. It means these values should not be used for the production or the inspection purpose. Where a basic dimension is repeated on a drawing, it is not identified as a reference. In the given example of drawing, dimension 34 are symmetric from the center hole. Still addition value 68 is shown as a reference for the information. Hope that you liked this video. Please subscribe the channel and share it to others. For training inquiry, please find contact details. Thank you friends, take care by that time, see you again in the next video.